problem between your brother and Amanda. Do you know I've not been myself since the pastor said what he said? Eh? I was even looking down on that pastor. I never knew that God had been using him mightily. Mm. Mama, you can say that again. Because for him to see vision about Amanda and Nemeka, it really means he saw something wrong. But the big question is, can Amanda tell us exactly what happened? Because it seems like she's hiding something. Hey! Oh, oh. What do I do now? Eh? Do I go to her father and, and tell him to, to, to ask her, let him force her to speak? At least we will know what the problem is. Bo. Eh? Amanda is not a bad girl. Eh? What must have been the problem? There's, there's a problem somewhere. Mama, if you ask me, for the pastor to have revealed this, the problem is half solved. Let's just wait for Amanda to come. Inugo? Hey! How do I face no more? How do I face Udemba and his wife Ngozi? Hey, another problem. If, if it's happened that they have no connection in what is happening, how do I face them? What will I say? Can you hear me, Ha! Mama Uzuru, please. See, you need to take everything easy before your BP escalates. So. And we'll start saying another thing. Biko, can you off, Mama Biko? Oh? Ew! It is better I tell my father what happened to me than tell anyone else first. He has asked me for a number of times, but I have refused to tell him. But I think it is time I open up my wound. It is time I show him my wound. My life has been tortured. My heart stopped. I told Izuna the truth of what happened to me. I told him everything. The only one whom I opened up to. He did not believe me. Yet he dumped me. Because he thought I was lying to him all this while. He thought that when I told him I was a virgin and that I wanted to wait until our wedding night that I was telling nothing but a lie. So he dumped me. He stopped me. Stopped me to gain access to... <laughs> and destroyed me. He took away my dignity. He took away everything. I am not. 
not even done with him. I'm just getting started. Chiamaka, my daughter. I hold nothing against your mother. I just wanted to let her be. So she accused me of being responsible of what is happening to her son. Nimeka is my elder brother's son. That makes me also my own son. How can I think of such evil? No, I can't do that. Nata, ensure you support and pray for your mother too. Everyone in this community knows what she's been through in the past few years. It's not been easy with her. And we understand that. If the pastor says Nemeka brought upon himself what he is passing through, well, we shall know what he did. Okay? Papa, my daughter, please forgive us. My daughter, do I look like somebody who has something in mind? No. What I pray every day is for the Almighty God to keep me alive yeah. until I see who is responsible for my elder brother's son mentality. Yeah. And I'm sure we are close to that. Yeah. We are close to that. Um, Ada, who is this Amanda you've talked about? Akukwe's daughter. Uh, your friend. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Hi. What must have happened between them? Hmm. Hi. Good afternoon, my daughter. Papa, I... I came back because I am ready to tell you what happened. Ah. All right, let me sit down and hear you. Mm. Now that you have made up your mind, to talk to your father about what happened. I am your father, though your mother is dead. But I have been here for you. Whosoever that is responsible for all your wasted tears, God knows, I won't spare that person, whether man or woman. <sighs> Chiamaka and I have always been friends. Yes. And I have always gone to their house. And her, mine. Yes. Every time we come back from school and I go to their house, Nemeka will always be all over me. And constantly I have told him that I am not interested. Constantly I have rejected his advances towards me. Yet he will not stop. Oh, Amanda, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, Amanda. Wait, wait, Amanda, wait, let me ask you. you see, um, I've meaning to ask you this. Why is it that when I call you in the school, you, you ignore me most times? When I call you, you don't even answer. That is because I keep repeating myself. Nemek, I have told you several times, I am not interested. Eh? Just, just let me be. You, and you keep disturbing me. Besides, you have a lot of girls in school who are at your beck and call. Why don't you focus your energy on them and, and, and just leave me alone? Hey, 
Why are you even sounding the way you're sounding? Those girls are just my friends and nothing more. Well, I don't care who they are to you. Whether friends or foe, it's none of my business. My own is just let me be. I came to that school to study and learn. And that is exactly what I would do. So if you think I'm going to let myself lose and let any of you boys in that school to toy with me, then you're dreaming. Well, I came to you, see you, see, you see this thing you're doing, eh? Let me tell you. One day, one day, I'll end up seeing your pants. Don't worry. I'll see the color, the true color of your panties. I'll tell you. Nemeka, you will see whose pants. I'll see your pants. Don't In worry. your wildest dream. Nemeka, see, let me tell you, a million of you can never. What kind of nonsense talk is that? You will see whose pants. In your dream. In fact, in the next world you will come, you cannot even dare. A million of you cannot. What kind of nonsense talk is that? Did you say what? Did I say what? I said a million of you cannot. That a million of I, Nemeke, cannot. Do you know I am a man? Do you want to try the capacity of a man? No, you see who is talking of capacity. A man. A man that wants to see a woman's pants by force. So when they talk of men with capacity, you come out. You have no capacity. You have zero capacity. As a matter of fact, you're owing capacity. Minus 99. You're still owing them. You, 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 want to see, you want to see my pants. See, let me tell you, I'll pass a message to your cohorts. Those, those riffraffs in school, they can never in their life, life to come, see my pants because I did not come to school to sleep with any man. I will go to that school and I will come out and uh, until I get married, that's the only time anybody will see my panties. And that will be my husband. You, you want to see my pants? Don't even bother. Don't even try because it can never happen. Not in this world. Not in another world. It seems Chiamaka is not even at home. Come, come, come and try it now. I'm up here. That didn't stop him. Rather, he persisted. He went as far as going to school to tell everyone that I am his girlfriend. But I just waved it off. I am not interested in knowing what happened in the school. What I want to know is what makes you cry every time you return home. Papa, I want to take it one after the other. All right, go ahead, my daughter. I'm listening. I don't want to jump any hoop. Okay. So that you understand what exactly happened. Hanokwaramuwe. <laughs> Papa, am I a troublesome person? No, really, do you, do you see me as someone who, 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 who trespasses? Your father is listening. Just tell me what happened. I know you are not a troublesome person. One of those days I came back from school. On my way going to somewhere, Nemeka blocked me on the way. And as usual. So, you've been going around telling people in the school that I cannot get you, right? You've been telling people in the school, look at everyone's not looking at me somehow. Nemeka, that is because you go around telling people I am your girlfriend when I am not. How can you be going around spoiling my name now? Do you know my boyfriend passed from this school before he, 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 he traveled out? And he was once the SUG president of our school. So everything that is happening in school, they still report back to him. You go around spoiling my name. You think I find it funny? Nemeka, listen, let me tell you something. Because I'm your, 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 your sister's friend and then we're from the same community, does not give you the right to spoil my name. You should learn to respect yourself. So, 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 Don't stop it. I don't like it. Amanda, so you're, you're warning me. I am not warning you. Amanda, you're warning me, Nemeka, me. I am not warning you. I am only telling you to please right. desist from what you're doing. Okay. It is wrong. Stop spoiling my name. Respect yourself now. Can't have it, Barigi. 
So you are still indirectly telling me that I cannot get you. That's what you mean. That I cannot get you. Nemeka. Ah, Nemeka. You can never get me. Not in your life. Not in any life. Not in this present life or in the next one you're going to come. I stopped going to their house. Even when Chamaka and her mother asked why I stopped coming. I only told Chiamaka. I warned her. I told her to tell her brother to desist from pestering my life. To stop disturbing me. But she didn't take it serious. She just laughed it off. I didn't go there for a long time. I avoided going there until I needed my shoes back. The shoe Chiamaka borrowed from me to attend the wedding. And I wanted the shoe. So I had to go and collect it from her. And on that fateful day, I went there. And that was when it happened. Uh -uh. Amanda, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Oh. Please, is Chiamaka at home? Uh, Chiamaka should be sleeping inside. Well, Amanda, it's been a long time I saw you here. Why haven't you been coming around? Are you quarreling with anyone? Um, no, just that I've been very busy with school and every other thing. Oh, okay. Uh, please, can you, can you help me wake her up from sleep, please? Uh, Amanda, you can go in and wake her up yourself. Can't you see that I'm busy? Go in there and do it yourself. Sorry for disturbing. No, it's okay. Take your time. Today is going to be a good day for you and I. Mimika, what are you doing? Listen, it is better you cooperate. Mimika. If you want it to be the bad way, it's on you. Mimika, come down, come down. You said a million of I in oh, America cannot have you. No. That was what Mimika, you said. Mimika, Mimika, you dare to die! You dare to die! You dare to You dare to die! 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 You want to die! You dare to die! You dare to die! I didn't wrong him in any way. The only wrong I did was going there to collect my shoe. Then he stabbed me. Huh? He caught my scapula. <clears throat> he tore my clothes and had his way with me. Hey! <clears throat> Baba, I didn't, I didn't do anything. I didn't wrong give it anyway. I did not do anything. I didn't do anything. If I had a brother who could defend me, if I had a brother, he would have defended me. But there was no one. No one to defend me. Papa, I didn't do anything. Oh, Papa, is it my fault? Hey. It, it, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe it's my fault. Is it my fault? From everything I've told you, do you think it's my fault? Hey. <laughs> 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 I, I 
Papa, don't, don't worry. Don't, don't worry, I'm coming right away. Papa, Papa, hold on. I am not done telling you everything. No, no, sit down, sit down. I'll, I'll be with you. So, sit down. Just going to your house. You mean here? Yeah? Thank God I met you here. Okonkwa. Are you going to? Okonkwa. Ngugu. I get a toge a toge. I dey help me to ambo. Where are you going? Akukwe, I don't understand this one. Can you please follow me to my house? I hear with your two ears. Akukwe. You know I'm taking BP medicine. I, I, I don't want something that will give me BP. My problem cannot be giving you BP. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Let's go. Right, let's go. 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 Let's
which was in Guinea's shrine. Hey! 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 The Almighty in Gale, I greet you. O Toto 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 Homa, Abale Toto Kwari Homa. The only oracle that protected me. The Gaga Nubu. Yeah. It's name we are full of enemy. My name is Kwari Hojo. When you are full of Tira Kenny Hojo, you can make me know ya. You can make me know ya. Ekele Mugi. Ekele Mugi. Young lady, what is it? I was raped, <laughs> stabbed, <laughs> and hurt by a man I did nothing to. <laughs> you said you did nothing to him? I did nothing to him. <laughs> this is a man I... I considered a brother. I only went to their house to collect my shoe that I gave to the sister. I didn't know the sister was not at home. Then he took advantage of me. He stabbed me. He tore my clothes. He tore my pants. And, and he caught my scapula. <laughs> then he raped me. Wipe your tears, young lady. Ngane will fight for you as far as your hands are clean. My hands are clean. Away him, Miriam, come on, daughter. Drop the clothes, bring it here, and everything, Tungele, and tell the Almighty Ngele what you want. Go and sit down. Oh, no, go on the road. Oh, Tony and our brother. Oh, my young boy. I can not doubt that I'm going to get a career. Go away, Fight for her. The almighty thing, Fight for her. <laughs> Whatever a man sows, he shall reap. Go and never look for trouble. Ngene will arise for your sake. Stand up and go. Thank you, Izemo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey! So Nemeka was the cause of all this mess. Eh? See what he did to an innocent child. Look what? Ha! And his mother has been going around accusing Udemba for nothing. For nothing. No, no, bam, 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 bam. This is this is serious. But why Ngene? Amanda. I've always known you to be a devoted child of God. Why did you choose the option of going to Ngene instead of the church? Why? Because the church will ask me to forgive him. 
but Ngene will not. Hmm. And you also did not talk to your father. <gasps> because, Papa, you would have brought the parish priest to cancel me. And then he will ask me to forgive him. When all I wanted was revenge. I wanted him to pay for what he did. Hey! No. No. Mm. <gasps> Welcome. Okay. Okay, you get How is Mama? She's fine. What's up, you now? You can come inside. Mama. You're welcome, my team. Uh, thank you, Mama. Uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize for coming late. Uh, it wasn't intended. I had other commitments, so I had to run around before coming down here. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, I had wanted to see you to explain to you about my family and what happened to my son. Uh, due to the fact that uh, you said that your family found out about my son's mental illness and then that the marriage proposal has been cancelled. Mama, um, the point is, I don't, you know, when it comes to tradition, you know the implication of these things, you know, and I, well, on my own, I'll, I'll try convincing them again. I'll try to persuade them, and if they accept, fine. Because I, for one, know that I love your daughter so much. I love her so much. I mean, seeing her through school to this point, uh, it's not easy giving up on her. Uh, notwithstanding, I can't shy away from the fact that I don't want to share or start the foundation with a family that has traits of madness in their lineage. And, you know, these things can be generational, and then as time goes on, it transits from one generation to the other. So that's my fear, that's my worry. It's not like I, it's difficult on my own part, man. No. I, I understand what you're trying to say, but this family does not have such. Yeah, th there's no madness in this family. It doesn't run in our blood, okay? I am a woman, and someone married me into this family. You know, my, my family asked questions too. So it's a normal thing. There's nothing wrong in your family asking questions and for us to tell you exactly what is happening to the family. We, we don't have trees of madness in this family. They're not mad. And the thing will leak, but then, Mama, I need to... If I must ask, what... What led to this state? What... How, what why did he run mad? What happened? I, I, I don't know. But I, I'm still yet to find out. Uh, he, the pastor said that he's the architect of his own misfortune, but we're still working to find out what is the problem exactly. We'll find out the cause. Oh, no. Nah. Please. No, tell me. Do you understand the meaning of sorry? The adjective for sorry is sorry. The comparative adjective for sorry is sorrier. 
The superlative adjective for sorry is sorriest. So I cannot take sorry for a word. This is the problem of this Nemeka. I cannot condescend into any act of disregard from any of you. You know why? I know my honors. And I know how to exercise my authority. Let the parliament begin. Oyibo. Ha. Okay. Hey. Nemeka. 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 Okay, look, no, Nemeka. Stop. Stop. What is wrong with you? Hey, Collins, please. Carry your car. Start going. Just start going. Hey, start going. Carry your car. Collins, please just drive. Collins, Collins, move your car. Let's. You have space. Let's speak English. Bia bia kai suo ya bo i bo bia kai suo i bo. Hey. My turn. My turn. My pen, my pen. Do you know that if you can use it? I was in Baker's house yesterday. And Nemeka is nothing to write home about. He's still there. He's still there. We shouldn't give up on him. In fact, I came back to see one man like that. Mm -hmm. He said he's the best in handling my people in this state. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So anything it will cost, I will handle it. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I said it. Hey! I said it. <laughs> My son, I said it. I said it. I memorize your book. I can't sort in here. I know that a day like this will come. Hey! Papa, what is it? My son, the story I had today has vindicated me from Udoka and all her accusations. I know that a day like this will come. Hey! Hey! Eh? Papa, I am confused. What are you saying? What story are you talking about? Talk to us. My son. Talk to us. Nemeka raped Amanda. Hey! Akupa's daughter. The helpless girl ran to Ngene and madness struck. Ew! Hey! Wonder shall never end. I give thanks to the Almighty God. Who have proved me right? Hey, my son. I can let reach him. Now I remember. Nemeka shouting to something I could not see. You see? <laughs> Ripped Amanda? Oh. How? When? May the gods be praised. Amanda should have told me what transpired between her and my brother. But she didn't. Eh? She came to see me and Nemeka raped her. Hey, she would have at least told me before, before taking this dangerous step. What did too much? Hey. Rape is rape. Whether she told you or not. But the question here is, why would he do such a thing to that girl? Did he smoke something? Hmm. Just look at what, what, what we've been passing through here. 
wonder how someone you see as gentle and calm will end up doing the unimaginable. Now, Ngele is involved. How do he get back his senses? Pastor George said it. Eh? He's the only one that said exactly that my son was the one that committed what he's suffering today. They say, no. I can go and go, Pastor George. I can go Hey! I'm telling you all of you, I will shoot. In 1986, a letter bomb was sent to the office of a renowned, a revered journalist of a great nation. And after that bomb exploded and killed the journalists, those who carried out the acts, how is their life today? And how is their family? If only they knew that standing with the truth would make the nation move forward, they wouldn't have done that. And I ask again, when I was first, guys, so you go. Go, go, see, I go. The I put chance. Let's speak English language. You're looking at me. Hey, when I was first, guys, so you go. Hey, I cannot call you. I don't know what. But in any other, I go in. I don't know what he says. I don't understand what he says. Hey, Amanda, what are you telling me? So you hid this from us, your friends? Why? A man raped you and you couldn't speak out. And you know the school anti-court is here to handle him well. And you know my brother is the head of the anti-court. Amanda. Afterwards, they will let him go free. After all, they are all friends. Not in this case. They will hand him over to the police. And after some time, the police will let him go, as usual. This is exactly what happens on this side of the world. Pedophiles, rapists, they, they, they take advantage of women, rape them, tear them in and out. And they don't take responsibility for what they did. And you didn't have any other means than going to Ngene Shirai. A devoted Christian like you, Amanda, how did you even step your feet in this shrine? Mama, don't tell me about being a Christian. You want me to report it to the parish priest, right? <sighs> report it to the parish priest and he calls the both of us and try to make peace and then asks me to forgive him. And that is it. He walks away free. Tomorrow he looks for a ne his next victim. Well, I will not let it go that way. I didn't want anybody telling me anything about forgiveness, telling me anything about letting it be. I wanted him to pay for what he did and he got the punishment and not enough. Because I'm not done with him. So that men will, like him will never try it with any other girl. Just calm down. So, Nemeka raped you and even stabbed you. Why? You should ask him why. Nemeka. Nemeka, you raped a woman. Eh? Look at your life now. So, upon all the money your late father and I spent to send you to school, 
This is what you use in paying us back. By raping Amanda. An innocent girl who did nothing to you. Just imagine how miserable your life is now. Look at it. You know that I am not mad. Because this whole thing is as a result of the quagmire. Or this whole quagmire is as a result of sheer negligence. I am telling you, because if what is perceived as hearsay might be the answer. Oh, oh you both. That is a language, a derogatory language that was spoken by a man in Philadelphia. Abu Nabi Doshika is a human being, Munya Gabu five and six. If they can give me pen and paper, I can tell them this. In as much as I love my brother and the family, I will not allow anybody from my family to go and peace, to go and peace any ghost or shrine or whatever you call it. Nameka is so stupid to commit such an abomination. Let them solve it by themselves. Papa, should we fold our hands? Thank God the cause of the problem has been exposed. Let's help that young man. Look, maybe you have forgotten. My father gave back to me in a Christian faith. And since I grew up, I've never seen my father or my mother, go to any shrine or deity. Even my brother, Okafo, never did. Are you supposed not to ask me such stupid question? I will cease to be my son if you step your foot to that Ingenna shrine. Your father has said it. And that is where I belong. Nemeka is your cousin, uh -huh, I know. But you have to allow the family to handle this. Ngele shrine is not a small shrine at all. There might be sacrifices involved, which our faith don't pair with. Because Papa, what? Papa, Mama, in as much as I condemn what my brother did in totality, that boy has suffered. Onya tagafuke metazeli ebere. Listen. If going to Ngeni Shrine will make Nemeka to be fine again, why not? As far as we're not going there to do any devilish sacrifice. Besides, the girl in question should first give a nod. This boy is trying me. Chino, so you are trying me. I am your father and have spoken. And so shall it be. If you try make a step to that Ngeni Shrine, are you publicly this on you. Try it. I will slap you. Mama, it's better you slap me. It's better you slap me. You can do anything you want to. Yes, I must help my brother. He's my brother. This is very delicate to see. At least I saw it. I knew that something was wrong. But she went too far. By reporting to the shrine. When she's a devoted Catholic. I mean, the references are there. They should have solved this problem their own way. But Nemeka, Nemeka did not try at all. Have any of you gone to see her? I mean, to her peace, to her mind and soul. 
is there yesterday, Pastor? I was there. I, I, I tried talking to her, but she, she didn't even want to see me. Eh? And I, 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 I went to speak with her father. Her father also did not want to talk to me. I don't know. I just left. Hmm. I don't know what else to do. Shamaka. Pastor. She's your friend. Go and see her. Talk to her woman to woman. If it fails, then let me come in. Okay? Pastor, she didn't tell me this in school. I don't even know if she's going to listen to me. Rape is a very bad thing in the society. And the trauma is something else. Whatever that girl did, nobody should blame her. We must take things easy with her until we get her mind. Papa, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Papa. Papa, please. Let's, let's handle this issue calmly. Eh? Papa, please, can I see my friend Amanda? At least I can talk to her like a friend. Papa? The head is true. Hmm? Since the girl in question and her father do not even want to see us, at least let him just see us and, and tell us what to do. He has refused. He, he doesn't want to pay attention to us. Cha, cha, cha. Hey, I was just coming from their house and the father, he, he's just sitting there. He couldn't even answer my greeting, let alone talk to me. <laughs> see, I know what my brother did. What he did was no good. But are we going to allow him remain like that for life? Mama, we found out what exactly happened. What are we going to do? Call a sin by its name. The old man is bitter. Very angry. Get on your guard, buddy. Who will be having fun when such crime is committed on his own child? What my brother did is wrong. Very, very bad. Even my father said that he's not going to be part of his because of things involved. Most Christians do not go to the shrine. Then Amanda went for a revenge. But she thinks that that place is her last resort. Listen, all we should be thinking now is how to solve this problem. Yes. Honestly, I don't know how to stand before your father and beg for his forgiveness. It's because with the issue of this land, the lingering issue of the land, and my son's condition, everything got me so confused. I don't even know what to do. I was thinking it was the one behind my son's predicament. 
Eh? They say no key any swear. But how do I stand before this man and beg for his forgiveness? He never can excuse me. Never can make a man who no go down. Never can go. Okay. Okay. See, let's Hi. forget about my father for now and solve this problem. The one at hand, please. Nemeka is very important. Yes. Hey. Okay, mad. I have a lot of stress on me right now. All I want you to do is to go and get my money for me. Eh? That, that your prophet, prophet Daniel or whatever you call him, is a thief, a big thief, and should not be allowed to remain in this domain. If not for my son's sickness, I would have gone there myself to collect my money. Can you do nonsense, Bianca? Udo Beke, eh? Prophet Dan is no longer in this town, no? Yes. He ran away after duping the Igwe second wife. Even the police are after him. Eh? I'm very sorry. I thought he was genuine as I was told. I never knew he was fake. Eh? Please, my sister. We all are trying to proffer a solution to Inemeka's predicament. Not knowing that he brought this upon himself. Eh? How can he commit such an abominable act now? Eh? Like I said earlier, I am stressed. I need to go home and then take off something to do. I'm out of me here now. Go. Oh. Let me just go home. Hmm. Why need them? <laughs> Why need them? Hmm. Why need them? You did well. In fact, I'm looking for a way to bust out. Hmm? So I, I want to, to tell you this thing. Mm -hmm. So that you understand it. Whether you can understand it, the way I'm understanding it. I'm okay. Okay. Uh -huh. In the same country, do you think that Nemeka will be still alive? The answer is Abida no. Mm. <laughs> yes. If you try this kind of a thing in India, I will not go there to work again more for my thunder will fire you left and right. Yes. See? Do you know if you go to Donna Masters or Zenith Hotel, you will see all these old women who have passed all this menopause stage. <laughs> yeah? They will come and be shaking their waist. They're shaking them around because of many payment. Many payment! You will see men will come. They will pay. They will go inside. They will hang their trousers on the next spot and climb up. Chuko, 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 chuko. Rico, 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 rico. Before 10 seconds, they don't fall. They will fall. <laughs> they will just jump out like a dog. <laughs> like a dog. Under 30 seconds. And you voila. <laughs> yes. And they will collect their money. If you go to 90 miles, if you go to a worker, they are too much there. Woman, the only thing you need to do is if you go there, you pay them. You pay them. They will use they do your record. Before you know what it happen, you have already poured. Yes. What did this one they pay me? This one they pay me. I don't know how person when they're using medulla or blanketa. Somebody that is using his celebrum. Someone that is having intestine will come and rape a fine girl. A fine girl that I have already counted as one of my wives, one of my cucumber. Ah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, ah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other day, told me that Amanda told told, told him that uh, uh, Amanda should not have dared the man in him by telling him that uh, he, he, he should not see her underwear. And he went and took it by force. By force, by fire. By force, by fire. Ah! Mm, okay. 
Leave her now. The car now. See, let me tell you, I have a suggestion. One solid suggestion. You have to go and tell her that. You have to go to Igwe, Igwe's palace. Go and plead with Igwe. Let Igwe find a everlasting solution to these things. But I want to ask you, it's like I'm talking too much these days. I'm talking too much. Now let me go and take my family. Ha! Why is them? Ha! Oh, wow. This girl. Oh, this girl. Ha! Amanda, how are you? Amanda, Amanda. Amanda. We have to see you. My name is Pastor George Amanda. We have to see you, Amanda. Hear us out. Don't turn your back on us, please. We know your heart had broken, but please, I beg you. God in heaven. God. Oh, Jesus. Arrest her soul. Arrest her by your mercy. We all know and had her and made my brother's son mad. Even you, Akokwe, accused me too of trying to kill my brother and take over the whole of our land. But my only consolation is time will tell, which we have seen now. I am not in support of him. I don't like what he did. My family is not known for madness and rape. I don't know where in the maker got this character from. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, what do we do to solve this problem? Hmm. Honestly, I heard fright from Amanda. Is it her tears? Is it her broken heart? Hey! Mm. All that she passed through, all because of this. Huh? That girl is a strong girl. If not, she wouldn't have even finished her school. I even heard that the man that was supposed to marry her left her. Because of all this. Ah! But, but we must find a way out. Akukwe, Biko, Biko Kanayo, plead with your daughter. Let her please forgive him. This boy we are talking about has suffered so much all because of this. His mental illness, he has suffered. 
biko na yo ayo i have nothing i have nothing to say in this matter amanda is a grown up woman and has right to decide on this matter not me I can't even talk to her concerning the forgiveness you ask of uh, Nemeka. I can't. Nemeka did not only rape her, but use the knife and stab her lips. Huh? What if that knife got to her bone? Her bone! Eh? No, Will we be here talking this yard 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 where is, uh, where is Amanda? She's inside. Mm. Can we see her? Can we see her? She cannot even see you people on this matter. Hey. You just have to mellow down hmm? and let me talk to her in this matter. Oh, hmm? Thank you so much. This one you have so said much. now has calmed my mind yeah. down. Because just try and talk. Ah! And then make a... If she forgives, we can now forge ahead. Yes. You know, we could talk Please. to her. Okay, come on. Mm. My friend, you need to forgive him and set him free. He has been like this for four years. That's all. Oh, you feel four years is enough punishment for him? You think that makes up for what he did to me? I don't get it. This is how we go about forgiving people who are supposed to be paying for the evil they did. What exactly is wrong with Africa? Because we are so sentimental about everything. That is how we go about forgiving rape, rape, rapists, pedophiles. People who are supposed to be languishing in jails. And they keep on doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Leaving a lot of women and children traumatized with deep scars that can, nothing can erase. Just stop it. Stop it. Just relax. I understand you. I know what you are passing through. No, you my have friend. no idea, one single idea of what I am going through, Ifoma. You don't. Please don't tell me you understand it because if you do, you will not be here telling me this nonsense. No, really, why would you come to tell me this? I'm your friend. No, you're not my friend because if you're my friend, you will not be saying this. If you are my friend, you will not be here, seated here, telling me this nonsense. I just want you to let it go. Please. I can see they've bought you over. Please. No, I can clearly see they have bought you over <sighs> the same way they bought my father. <gasps> I don't blame you. I know exactly what to do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? Why is one agree to you? Um, please, my cousin was reported here. And uh, since then, the young man has been mentally unstable. Please, we are here for a solution, please. Please. Ese kwana echi wa nwanyi mana nkenda kwaka gadiro ya which is rape rape akaka gadiro yonyo bula da kuru nwanyi 
me wen sobo o da bo go no me go no o be lu me ko ofu na anya mana aga na atu no nwa e mana anya ga adakpo i will not waste any of your time that young man will remain like that until he dies if the girl that reported him to the shrine did not come and plead with Ingele to forgive him. That young lady came here with a heavy heart and told Ingele what happened. And also told Ingele what to do. If that young girl did not come, Ingele will not relieve him. <laughs> <clears throat> Amanda, we have come to plead with your conscience to please allow this go. Let God judge him. Forgive him, please. Unlock him from the prison of your heart. Let him gain his senses back. The Bible always admonishes us to forgive. Please forgive him. I beg you in the name of God, please forgive him. Amanda Wandam, I've known you as a decent girl in this village. The way you walk, talk and do your things. In fact, Nkebe Zioku is that I had wanted to come for your hand in marriage. But my sister here, Chiamaka, told me that you have someone very special to you and that you cannot trade him for millions in the world. Please. My brother Nemeka has done the worst evil on this earth. I, I hate to call it by its name. Please. Biko, we begin that true. The oracle said that it's only you that has the right to come to the shrine and undo what you did. Amanda Wamarama, Ego Ibo, because then we've been suffering. Nemeka's condition is very critical. Other is in Moki Bala, not in the family. Please, please forgive and forget. Okay? Eh? Mama Rama. Please. Oh? Amanda, be cozy. Be cozy. Just look at me. Look at me. Please. Please. Please sit. Thank you. Just like the pastor said, forgiveness is all that matters. Who am I not to forgive him? For if our Heavenly Father can forgive us of all our sins. But I will take solace on the fact that forgiveness does not exempt you from punishment. I have forgiven him. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. I will go to the shrine and undo what I did. Oh, thank you. And leave the rest for God. Thank you. Amanda, thank, thank you. you. God bless much. you. Thank you. Amanda, thank you. Thank you, sir. Papa, thank you. Thank you, sir. Amanda, thank you. Papa, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus. You have a good heart. That's why you are here to let that idiot off the hook. Rape is a sin before the creator, and you know it. 
Anybody that is involved in such art is not allowed to live. That's why you left the church. You left the Reverend Father who blessed the scapula, the idiot door. Because they will preach to you. Why did you allow them to preach forgiveness to you? Why? Mr. Mo, I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know what to do. Everybody was begging me to forgive him. Everyone begged on his behalf. Besides, he's been mad for years now. He's been running mad for, for a very long time. So uh, I thought it's, it's time I let him loose. It's time I forgive and let him free. Moreover, the, the preacher said that I should let God be the judge. And I've decided to let God be the judge. If you have made your decision, then let it be the way you have decided. First, you have to go at the back of the shrine, at the root. Bring those clothes, burn them. Then come back and tell Ungele what you want. Thank you, Zimbo. Who made this sky to be dark at the day? Who made this way to blood? Who led the evil out of the I have done it. I have burnt it. You have done well. Hey, Kele Mugi. Hmm? What are you doing? I have been calling you for a long time. I have been calling you for a long time. Hmm? 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 <clears throat> Tell the relatives that they have to provide the following items. Seven she-goat and seven rams. Before the next two Ekemake days to appease the shrine of Ngene. Don't go to their house. I repeat, don't go to their house. Send message across to them. Have you had what is required for Nnemeka to regain his senses? Have you had? Papa, calm down. Anyway, I I heard it is seven she goats and oh. um, seven rams. Oh. But that one is not a problem. It can be provided. Provided by who? Provided by who? Papa, Papa listen to me. Papa, you have me as your only son. And I have Nemeka and Chiamaka as my only blood. Papa, allow us to do what we can do. 
What happened to Nemeka can happen to anybody. It was just a mistake. Rape is not a mistake. Do not count a rapist as your blood. I've said it. The parents should take care of their children. Just hmm. at the point of university level, Nemeka turned to the point of raping a woman. And you want to put your money in the shrine. Women should watch their mouth. Yes! Yes! They should not go binding shoulders with men. No, they get it. Amanda was said to challenge Nemeka. And so? She said a million of Nemeka cannot see her part. <laughs> and you know what that means? My brother decided to prove her wrong. Though I, I blamed Nemeka, my brother. And I still blamed Amanda too. Yes, it was just a mistake. And just that, he planned on how to rape her. Is he now mad enough? Ask Sammy, why then did he lose his mentality? Look, my son, abstain yourself from that issue. Allow Nemeka to carry his own cross. And I will not do that. Papa Adjumukiko. I will not do that. That boy is my blood. Mm. And I will do anything possible to help him. Yes. Are you challenging Papa? If you can do him, I will challenge you. Yes, that boy is my brother. And I will help him. How do you make this? You're not a memory. You're not a memory. What's that? Because no know. mistake. It's just a mistake. Anybody can do it. A rapist cannot be your brother. You see? Mm -hmm. So, just I have turned to another thing. You know, I fear. What would I have done without you people? Mama, Chinonso, one name. I am sorry for the disgrace I brought upon this family. I am sorry for the shame that came upon all of you. Amanda dared me. And I wanted to prove to her that I can't do it without minding the consequences. <sighs> this is where it landed me. I've lost my exams. <sighs> I wish I can turn back the heads of time. I just wish. <laughs> Nanika, you were sent to school to go and study. But you did not. Instead, you were busy looking for, 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 for a woman who would dare you. Of all the women in school or you saw outside, you did not see anybody. It's Amanda you saw. A family friend. Eh, Nanika? What did she do to you, Kedi for Maggie? Mama, she she dared me, and I want to prove to her. If I lied to May, Nemeka, you are a devil. Look at it. You need to see the way the villagers are looking at you. They they don't see you as a madman. Only see a drum meeting as of you, okay, Chacha. And the way the children were running after you, throwing stones and deaths on you. Makanisia draw him. He put her back at her semo. Hey, hey, you are sorry. You are a rapist. Please, I'm sorry. Eh? I don't know what came over me. You don't know what came over oh, you. I don't know what I was thinking. Please. Look at it me. now. The whole villagers are now looking at you as a madman. When you see her, You need to see the way ch children in, the, in, in this village run around you, chase you, they clap and follow you and, and, and throw stones at you. You need to see it. You fell out there, May. Officer, this is the man that stabbed me and raped me. Arrest him. Arrest who? After spending such amounts of money in the shrine? After four years of madness? Amanda, you that wicked? And you think that is enough? Oh, because he was mad for four years, I should just let it go. A man who took my dignity. 
If you think this is all I will do, then you're in for more. Because I'm just getting started with you. Officers, arrest this man. Commander, why then did you forgive him? And I stopped my foot in that shrine as against my face. The same way I stuck my foot into that shrine against my own wish. Don't you think I'm a Christian too? Oh, you think I'm a pagan? I may have forgiven him, but he has to pay for what he did. He should pay for what he did. The law should take its course. By the time I am done with you, when you see a woman, you respect them. You don't go around raping women. After raping them, you stab them. How dare you? Officers, arrest this man. Arrest this man, please. Young man, you are under arrest for the offense of rape. And I advise you remain silent for whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, sir, and coffee. Officer, please, 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 I'm